Yeah, good evening, guys. Welcome back to Deco Gravity Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. Uh, today, I want to show you how you can print your design, how you can deal with different kind of measurements on your PC lab. In this tutorial, you are going to learn exactly how you can make any particular design of any size on your PC lab and how you can print it with uh, 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 without losing the quality, how you can retain the quality at the end of the day. Stay tuned. Watch from beginning to the end so that you won't mix any of the tips which I'm going to show you. Uh, just as physical image are measured in inches or centimeter, digital photos are measured in pixel. Indirectly, pixel lab are measured in pixels. Uh, this unit of measurement is com uh, uh, most commonly used in graphic design, as well as web design, even in digital photography. Uh, pixel size, I can say it refers to the, refer to the uh, digital measurement of pixel in the image to ensure that an image or element within an image will display the same size regardless of the screen resolution that uh, it's being viewed on. But the question is, what is the size of pixel of a pixel? You have to use a pixel calculator to determine that, which will allow you to identify more than just the size of each pixel in the hinges or in the image, including the pixel density and pixel count. But the question is, is pixel size important? Absolutely. Pixel size capture light and turn it into data. So the bigger the a pixel is. The more data it is essentially collecting, yes. If uh, the image is having, uh, 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 it's been enhanced and it's the quality image HD, it means the data, the data it will collect, it will, it, it will, uh, uh, it will be much. If all other factors are the same, a bigger pixel size means that the image will be in higher quality. So in terms of photography, for example, larger sensor size allow for larger pixel size. What I mean is that uh, the larger the pixel, the uh, higher the quality of that particular image will be. And this in turn leads to the higher quality photo. Uh, the pixel size, for, for example, of a particular image will determine what the size of that particular image will be. I'm going to tell you, show you different kind of uh, 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 sizes that we have. Let's start from the A3 size. We have A3 size landscape. We have A3 size portrait. Just click on the right on the uh, uh, right scanner, the three line dot here. Then let's go here. We have the width and the height. Make sure that uh, you put it at the back of your mind that pixel lab working pixel. So let's assume we want to design a portrait. A portrait and i'm going to give you an example as a client as well a3 portrait a3 portrait if you want to just make it uh it will be one two eight zero by one eight zero eight this is a3 portrait a3 portrait if it is landscape what are we going to do landscape we are just going to turn it again it means the height will be the width and the width will be the height so it will be 1808 by 1280 then you look at it it's other way around this is a3 landscape the first one is a3 portrait now let us uh, check uh, 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 a4 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 landscape and a4 portrait a4 landscape and a4 portrait so let's check for a4 landscape so a4 landscape will be 1280 so let's see 120 by 904 this is a4 landscape landscape if it is a4 portrait it will just be it will just be 904 by 1280 1280 then you look at it this is a4 portrait a4 portrait so it's just an interchange in the width and the height it's like something in landscape but the same size so the height will be the width the width will be the height is other way around so let's check in for a5 a5 landscape so a5 landscape will be uh, uh 904 if i could remember by 640 yeah 
this is A5 landscape. If it is portrait, we are just going to uh, interchange it, which will be 640, 640 by 904, 904. Then, sorry. Uh, 640 by 904. Okay, sorry, I made a mistake here. 640 by 904. This is A5 size. You can write them somewhere. And I'm going to teach you why I got to know all these step by steps. So the next thing is that let's say we want to say ACs, ACs landscape. ACs landscape will be 640 by, uh, by, uh, if I could remember, 640 by 450. Yeah, this is a uh, ACs landscape. If it is portrait, it's going to be other way around, which is uh, normally be, let's say, 450 by 640. So we have 460 by 450 by 640. And this is AC size. AC size. So the next thing is, uh, let's check for business card so that it won't be. That's what the sizes that we have. So let's check in for business card. So the business card landscape normally be 540 by 352. It's all about calculator. Then we check it. This is our portrait business card. We have some, I mean, landscape business card. We have some which is normally be a portrait. It's just going to be another way around. So we have 352 by 352 by 540 then you look at it this is what it look bigger right when you come out when it come out from the printing you discover that uh, it just be in a normal way now another thing i want you to know is this one fit let us zoom or let me give an example let's say you receive a message uh from a client just say hello i want to uh create a, a, a banner design a very big banner for my food brand the size will be five inches by seven inches. Can you do it? Just tell the person yes. Five inches by seven inches. Five inches by seven inches. So one thing I want you to know is that one inches, I mean, one feet is 12 inches. One centimeter is one is 38 pisa. And one feet, when you say one feet, is 1,152 pisa. One feet is 1,152 pisa. That is in feet. In centimeter, one centimeter is 38 pisa. One feet is 12 inches. So let's take it for instance now. A client give us 5 inches by 7 inches. So you need to just add in directly to Google. So just add in directly to your Google. So just take it for instance, we say five inches by seven inches. So one five inches in pisa. Five inches in pisa. Or let's say, let me don't let us even go directly to that. Let's say one inches, one inches in pisa. In pisa. So you discover that for well, well, one inch is equal to 96 pisa or 96 pisa per inches. So which means one inch is equal to 96 pisa. It will be 96 times 5. So go to your calculator. So we have uh, 96 times 5. We give you 480. That is 480. Remember, it's 5 inches by 7 inches. We have 480. So you can have this one to be copy. Then we have 96 by 7. So that one is 672. And since they say 5 uh, uh, inches by, it means 672. So you can write it somewhere. So which we have 672. 480 by 672. You can look at it. This is the size the person is talking about. Five inches by seven inches. So you, you should be able to know one inch is in pisa. So one inch in pisa times the number of that inches will give you one particular area. So you discover the second one. That is what the size the person is talking about. This is it. It's very, very simple to understand. And another thing is this. Let's assume we don't want to do that. We just want to go directly to, let's say, five inches. Five inches to in pixel, in pixels. So we have uh, five inches. You can look at this. Five inches in pixel. Look at it. You see my calculator. It's very what? It's five eighty pixel. This is it. 
580 pixel you can see it that's 480 and when i did my calculator you just look at it i just say 96 times 5 that is 480 so you just need to and let us assume that uh, the person say um one centimeter let's say five centimeter by uh, uh uh five by three centimeter five centimeter by three centimeter so you should know that uh, one centimeter is 38 pixel so let's get that one out one centimeter to inches i mean sorry to pixel is 38 pixel but i want to confirm i want you to see so that you see that it actually work so one centimeter to pixel i made you to understand that it's 38 so you see one that it centimeter one centimeter is equal to look at the first one 37.799 approximately 38 pixel you can see so if the person now said three by seven so which means 38 times three will give you three centimeter 38 times 3 will give you 3 centimeter. That, I mean, we give you 3 centimeter. 38 times 3. That is in PISA. We give you 3 centimeter. So the same thing applicable, you just need to know how to convert. Convert. Another tips I want you to know. After you make your design, let's take it for instance. I want to show you one trick. After you make your design and you don't want it to lose quality, like for instance, I just make this particular design. Look at it. See how it look before it come out. Although there are some other things you still need to add. I'm going to show you one different things now that you can use to enhance your design even after you finish finish it here it doesn't end here one thing i want you to have at the back of your mind is you don't merge unnecessarily don't merge if you look at all these things i did not merge anything if you merge you continue losing quality that's it you don't merge unnecessarily don't merge at all if possible and if you want to merge just make sure that you merge something not too much don't don't merge more than two or more text or objects that's the first tips. The second tips, if you want to save, make sure you save with what? With no transparent JPEG and save with what? With ultra, not PNG. This time around. So after that, you make sure that you save your design. Now, another thing after you save your design, how can you see and as your design? I'm going to show you that tips. Uh, uh, but not in details today because I don't want to waste much of our time. So the next thing we want to do, I want to show you the difference between something. Uh, let me head into, I've saved that design, but there should be a comparison. Look at this design. This is my Snapseed. I've edited this design in this Snapseed, applying filters and others. But look at something. If I want to see the difference between the previous one I saved or my pixel app and this one, look at it. If you click on it, look at this. If I remove a hand, look at it. When you long press, you see the previous one. This is the one that come out, came out directly from pixel app. Then after I save it, I came here, do a kind of edit, which I'm going to show you in my next tutorial. Make sure you check back. So after that, you discover that, uh, let me release my hand. And you see, look from that image alone. You see the quality. See it? See the quality. So let me even zoom it out. So when you zoom it out, zoom it out so let me see this is the pre editor one this is the previous one look at it you can see let me remove my hand to see the the, the editor one look at it so it means after i even zoom it out it is not pixelated you see the color is still maintained now look at it this one is blurry look at it see the editor one so you should be able to know the advanced level on how you can enhance the quality of your design and that is that the tricks i normally use in make my design uh, are, are, are awesome different from other design i'm going to show you this after the after the uh, 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 after this video has been posted so after that the next tricks which i'm going to show you after saving this design the next thing you are going to do is to head in directly to your gallery i mean to your whatsapp if you want to send this work through your whatsapp what can you going to do don't save send the work directly as a picture just click the uh, 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 this icon after clicking click on the document click on browse locate where you have that design be saved the folder i use is snapseed then this is the work send it like this you can see 1.6 megabyte then you send the work 
So this is the work. So after the work has been sent, then the person can view it. After viewing it, the person can print it. It will not lose quality. It will retain that quality. And that is the trick. And that's the first step. Another step is this, which is uh, so much challenging. If you don't know how to edit, you don't know anything, don't merge your work unnecessarily. What you are going to do is to hide everything that is here. Hide them. Because I have to show you without hiding anything. Hide all the work, everything. Hide it and lock them if possible. Hide and lock, hide and lock. It, this is very big uh, work anyway because it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. This one, if uh, the your, your design contains a lot of element, but it's better still if it doesn't contain a lot of element or you want to do something like logo. Now, after saving all those things, remain only background. What you are going to do is to save the background first, alone. After saving background, you come here and click on transparent background. Just unfeasible the first one, which is the bottom one. Save it. After save it, delete it. Unfeasible the second one, save it, delete it. Unfeasible the third one, save it, delete it. The process is you save each write-up, each element, one by one. After done that, the next thing you are going to do, go to your Chrome browser, adding to your photo P. After getting to your photo P, what is the next thing you are going to do? You are going to import the background import the background first so you just come here import the background so the background you save let us assume you save the first background let me even show you so let us assume you save this background you already save everything with ultra and with png or jpeg you save it after saving it i want to show you something so after saving it the next thing you are going to do is to just bring the background first so it will load so you see, it has to save differently. And you continue importing them one after the other, continue importing them one after the other till you import the final everything. After that, you now click on the file and click on export. Save as PDF. So when you save as PDF, the next thing you are going to do is to have just to maintain the quality. So you can see, save your work as PDF. So when you save as PDF, you will see your work. You can see it wants, it's now trying to open as PDF. So you look at it. It says save as PDF. It can convert. Look at the button. PDF to document. So everything will be in PDF. Why? Portable document format so as to retain the quality. So that is just a true tip. And once you finish your work, just make sure you send it as a document. It will retain the quality. Send it to any printer, any printing press the quality will remain. Thanks for watching. I believe this is helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I update my channel with amazing video like this. Thanks for watching once again. God bless you.